what did you do what's not clicking hi guys welcome back to another video <laughs> testing out some new products i don't have that many new products but i'm testing them out as you can see i already did my eyes um these lashes if you guys want to know they are super cute so let me look to the side do i see that I can't tell y'all anything about these lashes, but I would then they are huge and mink. That's all. That's all I gotta say. Y'all gonna find out soon in that own video. Period. <laughs> Anyways, so basically I bought some new stuff from Sephora. And I wanna try it on my face. I already did my eyes. As you can see, got my hair pinned up. Spray my face with the Mario Badescu skincare. Cucumber spray. Pat that into my skin. Prime. Okay, that was very hydrating. I have dry skin if you don't know. But yeah. So what I usually use the prime is the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. This is the mini one. And I usually just put that on my T-zone like right here right here on my cheeks but i got two different primers now i got the tatcha silk canvas um primer i got the mini honestly top this is so this is like 20 20 something dollars 21 i think oh my god can you get out the box look at the packaging y'all i remember when this first came out i was like wow all right beauty girl loved it it looks so I obviously rubbed it before just to see. It smells really good. So I'm about to try it on my pores. I like the way it feel. Okay. The next primer I have is the milk makeup hydro hydro high something. Hydro grip primer. This one. This is a thirty dollar primer. So it claims to basically it's supposed to be moisturizing and help your um help your makeup stay on for longer. So I'm gonna do one pump. This is how much come out in one pump. How much? Can't really smell anything. So this has cannabis something, blue agave. Okay, I like the way this feel on my face. Feel very hydrating. Cool, also. Tacky. As soon as I touched it, it felt tacky. I like this. But just know, I will be using the ColourPop No Filter Foundation in the shade Deep Dark 200. And I'll be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Deep Dark 54. I'm using this Morphe sponge. Everybody in that grandma would love it. I'm gonna spray it some more. I already wet it before, but that was before, that was before I did my eyeshadow. I just want to make sure it's nice and wet because I don't like dry swatches. Okay, so I want to see how this apply. So when I use the color by foundation, I of course take it, put two pumps on my feet on the back of my hand. Then I dyed it all over my face. Like this. That. A little bit on the forehead. This. So I used to go in the, with the brush, but I want to see how this looks with the sponge. My brush is filthy, so. Okay, so this sponge is in the softest. But it isn't the hardest to on. I think it's because it's a new sponge. You know what I'm saying? You know how you have a new sponge? And it's not super worn. It's not worn in yet. Like a new pair of shoes. Okay. 
I feel like I, I got a drag with this sponge. Did my face match my neck? Did my neck? Yeah, did my face match my neck? This sponge is a little hard. That's something I don't like. Maybe I should use this part. This part feels soft, but this part, hard. Look how much is on here. So I feel like it did take a lot of product. But it makes me look very natural, so that's what I like. Honestly, this is giving my blend very natural, which I like. However, it it could be because it's natural because I didn't use the brush first like I usually do. But yeah, this blend is very natural. I really like it. This sponge is blending like a dream. I'm so impressed. Like, I know everybody like to use this for their powder. So I'm going to just place my more tin. Wherever I'm trying to brighten, that's why I place this powder. So I'm on my forehead. Okay, that's a lot. I'm going to use this part for underneath my eye though. Because I've been adding way too much. You pick up a lot of product with this sponge also. Ooh, but look how fine the powder go on your skin. Y'all see the dry spots on my face? Let me zoom y'all in. Look at this dry spot on my face. Can you see it? And right here. Oh my poop ways. It's okay. It's okay. And then I use the Maybelline Fit Me um powder in dark forty to do my reverse contour and bake my smile lines. So I'm use this side of the of the sponge and reverse contour. Ooh, I like that. I like. Y'all saw that? Y'all saw how easy that was? We gotta do it on this side. Wow. Then I'm gonna go back to this part and bake my smile lines. I'm gonna get back to you guys when I'm done my full face. And then you guys can see. This is how the makeup turned out. This foundation shade is... It's too light. It's too light. It's too light. <laughs> Way too light. This obviously isn't my shade. I usually wear dark cocoa. I'm LA girl. Here's Jerry's final thought. Uh, my skin looks very good. I like. I love the way this sponge works. It just picks up way too much powder. Um, what else? I think the milk primer is very hydrating. I don't think the Tasha primer did anything. I can still see my one pore right here. I can still see these pores right here. So yeah, I don't think the Tasha primer did anything. Everybody rave about it, but I don't. I don't see anything. You know, like what? Like what is it? What happened? What did you do? But it's not clicking. Boom. So I didn't film my outro for this video, but you already heard my final thoughts. Um, the sponge is good. It's just a little hard. Pacha primer didn't do anything. Milk primer was good. Foundation shade does not match me. Um, yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you want me to buy any other makeup, just comment down below. Also, yeah, just comment down below. Thank you guys so much for the support. Bye-bye.